Hello, Ryan Rev again, giving you an update on the swarm that was trapped out a week ago, probably about a week and a half ago. Last week we moved it up here overnight from the location down at the end of the creek that runs through my property and moved it into a eight frame box. And as you can see, they're doing well. Uh, been flying in a lot with pollen coming on. Really active beehive. I have really been throwing the sugar syrup to them. This hive right here alone is going through about a quart and a half a day. Uh, pretty mild bees, but they're feral bees. I actually put a bee suit on, and I think I've got that video on, and I may upload it later. I don't know. Um, I get tongue tied a lot, and I get excited with them do it when I'm working with the bees and sometimes I go on and on about one subject that I really like um, however with this beehive they're bringing in plenty of pollen and they've almost got this front this box from what I checked on this week filled up with nectar and stuff the queen I'm hoping is starting to lay now these are feral bees and as you can see they're a darker bees and there's one coming out with a load of pollen uh, they're dark the queen is small. I mean, I could not find the queen, but the way they're acting, she's in there. Um, talked to several beekeepers in this area that I've known, not in my local area, but surrounding counties, and, and they're looking at the pictures I showing them and saying, yeah, she's got to be in there. They're, they're too calm. So I'm trusting them. However, <laughs> the day I released this warm into that box transferred them over uh, my girlfriend was with me and I wanted her to go with me down to the tree because I figured hey we moved the hive up let's go check and see if uh, maybe there were some residue bees around well, some that might have flown out of the box and came back down and landed and uh, sure enough there was probably about I don't know half a frame full no matter what i done unless it was a secondary swarm i don't know there was just not a lot of bees there and there it may have been a secondary swarm i'm not sure however we looked and looked and looked and looked and looked there was not a lot of bees in that group <laughs> so i moved them over to the swarm trap did not find a queen at all. The bees were aggressive. I mean, even though I worked them without a suit, you could just tell by their actions. They were flighty, very bad to just swarm at you. <coughs> Excuse me, swarm at you. However, after a couple of days, they settled down. And I brought a box down here. It's pretty good ways. In that area <laughs> and they were uh, flying in with pollen and I thought well you know maybe it was a secondary swarm and they just happened to come in because they smelt the other bees that had been in that box and <coughs> so I gave them a couple days to see if they were going to migrate out leave whatever and I searched and searched and searched and searched, and we could not find a queen. I had a friend come over here and help me. We looked, couldn't find it. <laughs> the bees got really aggravated when we were messing with them. So we just made an educated guess that it was queenless. And now the queen has been in there. Let's see, Wednesday, four days. I went Saturday and bought a mated queen. Left her in the box for two days, come back. They had started chewing through the candy, so I thought, you know what, let's just put her on top of the frames, release her, and see how she's going to do. And uh, this is how she's doing. This group of bees is also going through a quart and a half of sugar water a day. They are laying it to it, boy. 
as you can tell i've got them sitting on a garbage can right now that's the only thing i had down here to set a hive on <coughs> because they had been in the swarm trap for about uh five days four days something like that and then whenever i released the queen i put them in that uh old hive body i've got we strapped it down i reduced the entrance as, as small as i possibly could made sure they had some good ventilation in there and started throwing the sugar water to them and they are absolutely going crazy um it wouldn't surprise me if this hive surpasses that one but two swarms two hives in one week now i hope the rest of your continues like that it's swarm season in georgia we've been seeing them all over the place uh, I haven't been lucky enough to set another swarm trap up, but you never know. I'm going to set one out tomorrow evening. Right now it's overcast and cloudy as you can see down here in Georgia. Pretty dark. There's the sun right through that pine tree right there. Oh, about dropped you. But anyhow, <clears throat> with gardening season coming up, We'll have plenty enough for the bees to feed on across that ridge over there there's a canola field and a sunflower field that's probably about four to five hundred acres each uh, everybody in this part of the country puts a garden out every year it seems like so we've got fruit trees coming in bloom real good apple trees are blooming this week pear trees are going out on blooms flowers are just starting to come out so looks like a good season honey flow starting i'm seeing a lot of pollen come in on the bees legs so when my nukes get here at the end of this year or the end of this month i believe we'll be doing good y'all have a great evening if you like the video hit like if you want to subscribe subscribe but i'm going to be doing updates on day two hives regularly now, they are feral hives there's no beekeepers around here <laughs> and eventually i want to introduce this strain in with the the Italian bees I've got coming and maybe I can get some of their genetic traits for disease resistance over into the, the other hives so keep watching and God bless y'all have a great evening